so we will understand how to do prepaid reconciliation in black line or preparing prepaid schedule in black line whatever you can say so this is template for prepaid schedule reconciliation here you can see amortizable item so in this amortizable item we will add the amortizable item we will prepare the schedule everything for all the prepaid transaction and where there is any adjustment or you can say the class entries for which they know prepared we will put in it is supporting items here okay so now here this is gl balance we can see 18000 and this is an identified difference so once you put the amortizer item this identify unidentified variance would be zero so this gl balance is automatically populated from whatever accounting software you're using either it can be sap or it can be oracle as the case may be so now we'll click on add amortizable item this window has opened we will put this schedule details for schedule let's say we are preparing amortization for ten thousand dollar putting the amount amortization period you have to mention from when to when this amortization is happening let's say it is happening from the first of july last month we are doing preparing for the month of July. So let's put it from the 1st of June. You want to put it from June to show you something for one year. So from June 24 to 31st May 25. Okay. Now originating date is the invoice date. Let's say invoice was generated on uh may 31st or may 25 may is 25 and open date is date on which you entered in your accounting software let's say 5 31st if you put the open date as 6 1 and the entry was made on 5 31st in the software then the balance will not match open that date is date on which you made the entry close date let's say your uh, here the amortization in, is ending on may 31st 25 so in june 30 june 1st 25 this line will appear there with the zero balance because all amount is amortized since we have not mentioned the close date it will still appear in future date with zero balance so if you mention the close date as 1st of june 25 okay then from June, this line will not appear anymore. Okay. For but we keep it open. When the after one year when it will come, we will just close at that time annually. Now, how do you want to amortize this amount? It we are selecting as straight line method. Okay. In reference, mention the invoice number. Invoice number for which you have received this bill. Sorry, this expenses offsetting account oh, it needs to be very careful offsetting accounts is the expense year to which this prepaid account is going to amortize whatever expense it is let's say insurance expense account you mention account number here okay then after account code you can mention the account code for this prepaid year whatever account code is it means okay then after in description mention the vendor name vendor name like uh, bajaj finance Lim limited and any other description if you want it's optional so in difference invoice number plus vendor name you can mention you can mention vendor name in description we usually mention vendor name in description so once you have done this now you can see view schedule has been enabled now we'll click on view schedule once we click on view schedule this window will appear here you can see that the amortizer began from 1st of june as i mentioned and on 31st june this is the closing balance so in accounting software every month this transition has been posted since we are in july 31st we created from july 31st so this is for june july and this is closing balance here 
Now here we can see that in first column the amount is 37 cent and in rest of the row is 33 cent. But when we as per my practice what we do we will adjust we adjust this variance at the end of the month. Some people adjust it a month beginning of the month. So this uh, black line is adjusting at the beginning of the month. So you can edit this field manually if you want. Let's say some figure is in cent is not matching. You can adjust it manually <coughs> in one go. So we click on edit all. By clicking edit all this edit has opened. Now we'll change this one to 33 cent. Then after I'll come down and I will change this to 37. So you can see the variance is still zero here on amortized amount. So if the amount is anything different, let's say, then it will show you on amortized amount here when you click on save. Seven. <coughs> now I click on update all. Now you can see that the figure is updated. And uh, then we can click on save. When you click on save, it will give you a pop-up. Calculation method will be changed as none as manual edit has been made to the schedule. Would you like to continue? Just click on OK. It does not matter. Then we will brought back to this page from where we started. Now you can click on save. Now you are brought back to main page. Here you can see that the invoice has been uh, added invoice number reference this is the reporting balance as on date and here you can see the schedule if you click on the schedule you will go to the page where the schedule was made i click on cancel and come back So to attach the invoice, we'll again go back inside. We should have done it earlier, but I forgot. I click on this edit. So this window will again open where we put it every details. Here we can click on add document. And we can attach document what we want. We can draw, drag and drop the document here. And once it is done, you will just click on cancel, the page will automatically and you can see the attachment here. If you click on this attachment, it will download it for you. Now click on save. Now you can see the attachment here. If you click here, it automatically open in and download it. You can download it from here and you can see the attachment. And just like same, add more lines till this amount is zero. And if there's any thing which does not find, uh, come in amortization set schedule, add it in supporting item, which is the various of the class.